Guess who's back? Back again. We are back. Tell our friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? <laughs> hey y'all, sorry. So sorry about yesterday. We we were just relaxing and chilling. So we were like, yeah, we're gonna take Sunday off. And then around the evening time, it was just like, no days off, no days off. We got to record, baby, at least to get Candle Chronicles off the ground. We gotta keep going. So welcome to episode 31, 31. Yeah, are you excited? It's 31, baby, it's 31. Today we are gonna go through 18 more candle crates. Let's see if we can find some fun new stuff. Yeah, and get excited. All right, so let's hop into these candles. So first up, we have Laundry Day. Again, this is my public service announcement. If you are a person who enjoys beautiful, clean, decadent scents, even if they're covered in a post-it note, then you need Laundry Day. <laughs> and when I say you need Laundry Day, if you have laundry day on your list for candle day, please put a two for the quantity because you, you go be, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you don't want to be heartbroken. Get two, baby, get two. If, uh, if your significant other is like, do you really need to? Yes. Stace in the place said you need to. As long as the checkings and savings says that you're allotted to, you need to. Feel free to show them this video and share so we can get to a thousand subscribers by Christmas. You know, quick little plug, but let's hop into something new. So here is a pink fairy gumdrop. Pink fairy gumdrop. So it's super cute, but like, is the scent cute? That's the question. I mean, I don't know. It's not bad, but it is like, it smells like I'm gonna get a cavity after smelling this. It's like cotton candy, just all types of sugar. Yeah, super sweet, like cotton candy. And it reminds me of um, pink sugar, the perfume. This has sparkling sugared berries, pink cotton candy. See, I told you about cotton candy. Um, sprinkle of fairy dust. It, see, they, they be cutting up with these. Uh, it's a sprinkle of fairy dust. How do you know what fairy dust smell like? Were, were you out and about in the 70s out there with all that um, Christina Aguilera? Like, what? Like, let us let us know, pink, par <laughs> pink fairy gumdrop. Let us know. What's up? What's up, baby? Um, here's another laundry day. Because y'all know I love laundry day. Ah, okay, um, let's put a lid on her. We're just putting this random, oh, this lid, I believe this is the lid from um, the semi-annual sale ones that had like the blends, the mixes, um, like the, what was it? White Gardenia and Tiki Beach, I think was a mix or something, something like that, but that's what that lid is from. That's a shame that I know the lids like that. <laughs> Next up is another laundry day backup pile. Also, if you're curious, the ones that are already in the crates, um, they were from the last video. All right. Oh, white velvet coconut. Oh my gosh. Somebody had this. Somebody showed us this. Who showed us this recently? I think it was Kimball. Kimball's the one who showed us this recently. Um, during one of her um, candle battles, y'all. What I tell y'all, like, so she does this thing where every Friday, I believe, yeah, every Friday around like five o'clock is she hops on live and she'll do like candle battles, she'll do wallflower battles, like all the battles, and it is like it is so much fun. I've missed the I missed the last one, but I'm part of the replay gang. So who be watching on replay out here voting and can't nobody hear me, but be like, yeah, I want that one. Yeah, I'm going for this one. It's so much fun. Like if you have not checked out Kimball's Candles, well, I mean not Kimball's Candles, if you haven't checked out Kimball's channel, I highly, highly encourage it. Like she's out here posted like every single day and she does a live just about every day. And I'm like, man, like, 
I mean, I admire her courage because who I would be so afraid to do a live and it'd be like nobody on the live but me. <laughs> I'd be like, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> but she gets up there, honey, people be coming in in droves. I'd be like, oh, my notification is on. <laughs> like she up here, let me log in real quick and check it out. So definitely check out her channel if you get a chance. It's awesome. And she's always up on it on the sale. She been getting us together for Candle Day. So definitely check out Kimball. Um, let's see. So this one, this one is interesting. It's not bad at all, but like, I don't know, it's a different vibe. And it's like white velvet coconut. So you can definitely smell the coconut there. Maybe. It's like coconut and something. And like my first instinct wants to say vanilla, but I'm not 100% sure. But this is like a coconut. It's kind of in the middle. <laughs> Winnie. Sorry, they probably see it. another little dog outside. Um, they scared me to death. Um, but it smells like, it doesn't smell like the coconut and coconut and vetiver. So it's not like that harsh, like natural coconut. It's more of a sweeter coconut, but not a full on artificial sweet coconut. But let's see, it says white velvet cake, coconut shavings and white buttercream. So it's possible that the velvet cakiness and the buttercream is what I was picking up as the, um, the wannabe vanilla-ness. But it's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty good. So I am going to put this one here on the collection shelf. Um, and again, check out Kimball Lit Wicks or what should I say? Is Kimball Lit Wicks or Kimball Lit Wick? I believe she's also, yeah, she's also on Instagram as well. And then um, she's also on YouTube. But awesome, fun channel for sure. Let's see here. Next up is Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. And this one, I feel like this one's a nice peach. It's definitely not one of those like ripe, <laughs> not one of the musty peaches. And the marshmallow balances it nicely. So I really, really like this one. Clearly this is the first time we've seen this one. So back up how it goes. And let's move this little crate here. Y'all, something like don't, don't trust these crates because look at this, hold it on for dear life. So. Gotta be careful because these crates be cutting up. Um, next up, I'm just, God is so dusty. I don't know if you're gonna be able to appreciate and see all the dust on here, but I'm like, dang, these candles been fighting for their life down here. Oh my gosh. Um, but these are, this is six of the uh, sweet carrot cake. Absolutely beautiful set, uh, perfect for fall, adorable. It usually comes out every Easter. And I'm just gonna sit that down there because it's gonna be a backup pile. But um, yes, love sweet carrot cake. It's not our first time seeing it, so you already know. Your girl back, back, backed it up. <laughs> Next up is toasted coconut um, cupcake. I don't really smell a lot of coconut here. I definitely smell the cupcake vibe and some of the icing. I mean, it smells like it's namesake. I believe this is the second one um, that we've seen, but this is sweet coconut, toasted almonds, where, but okay, um, and fluffy vanilla cake. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'd be out here coming for these candles because I'm like, now I know almond is, I don't smell, let me try it again. No, I don't smell the almond. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I think we have talked about this one before, so I'm going to put this one in the back of the pile. Um, and let's see here. Oh, mahogany. Wait, mountain teakwood. Mountain teakwood is better, in my opinion, than mahogany teakwood. Just because it's like a little bit more toned down. For some reason, that mountain teakwood, it has something. One of the fragrances in it, it just... Oh, it just does something to my senses that's like, no, it's too much power. But this one's Mountain Tea Quip. I can roll with this one. It just smells like a fancy men's body wash. 
Uh, this one is crisp, crisp mountain air, rich teak wood, and a touch of fresh eucalyptus. I love some eucalyptus. Um, let's see here. Next up, we have cinnamon Irish cream. Mm -hmm. This one's good. This one really reminds me of something specific. Like, it kind of reminds me of rum chata or Bailey's a little bit. <laughs> Bailey's Irish cream. Um, <laughs> let's see. This is cinnamon spice liquor, mm. Irish cream, and French vanilla. It smells really good. I, I, I'm i here for it. Uh, we're going to put this one in the collection shelf, though. And, oh, sweet cinnamon plum. I feel like we might have talked about this one way back when, but I'm not 100% sure. But this one's so nice. This one's like a perfect fall transition scent when like you're stuck in August and it's hot outside, but you want it to smell like it's fall. This is what you need. Cause something about the plum and there's like a hint of cinnamon in there, but like there's still a little something, something that makes it fresh. Um, this is Juicy Plum, Cinnamon Apples, and Ground Club Buds. Uh, but we're going to put this one for the collection shelf because I am not 100% sure about talking about that one. Um, let's see here. Oh, Hinoki Wood and Lavender. I really enjoyed this one. But the streets, the streets weren't necessarily here for it. It just smells like an aromatherapy like type of vibe with like a little bit of woodsy earthiness. And like, I don't know, like a dash of lavender. Um, this one, calming Hinoki wood, fresh lavender, and a hint of coconut. Well, honey, the, the hint isn't hinting enough because I, I don't smell the coconut, but okay. We're going to put this one in the collection shelf. <laughs> and, oh, another white pumpkin. I told you, a white pumpkin is the fall candle. It's the fall candle. Um, all right. So, did I tell you guys we're doing 18 today? Because we're doing 18 today. Um, let me pull up two more well four more crates so we can roll all right next up is oh, fallen flurries oh i missed this i mean i say i miss it like i like i don't have it here like i could easily go and smell it but like i just miss seeing it pop up it's been a couple of episodes without my boo fallen flurries don't be hating you'll hate me Okay, they participate in that good. Oh, Fallen Flurries is just like this beautiful wintry air, but it's a little bit more on the woodsy and fresh side. Um, it is frozen, <laughs> frozen thyme, fresh eucalyptus, ripe pear, and sandalwood. The sandalwood takes it to the next level. Um, let's see, I'm gonna move these two of our backup piles over here. And then, let's see. So we have two more Fall and Flurry. And what else do we have here? <gasps> Ice Wonder Balsam. Oh, what are you guys doing? Yeah, is Darla scaring you? Hmm? Is she scaring you? Are you scaring him? Yeah? What's up? What's up, chicken boy? Oh, okay. You gotta go out? Do we have to go out? Okay, one second. We will be right back. Alright, everybody's good? And we're back! <laughs> Sorry guys, we had to take a brief um, pup intermission. Yeah, do you feel better now? I feel so much better. Oh yes, I feel so much better. Um, so, <laughs> let's see. We were talking about... Wow, Wendy. Winnie's so spicy. Um, we're talking about ice winter balsam. Oh Lord. Why are you all riled up, girl? Here, you go up there. Be good, please. Thank you. Um, ice winter balsam. Love this one. 
this one is like it's like fresh balsam but there's something about the iced part it's like a little bit more of that minty freshness this in there um this is frozen eucalyptus and sugared pine and fresh balsam so there you have it a fresher fresh balsam i called it <laughs> um, so this one I think we've talked about it. I'm just gonna put one for the collection shelf and then I have two more that we're gonna put for the back of the bowl. Right, and let's see. Oh, y'all, I thought this one was gonna be the perfect Christmas. I was like, and here we go with another perfect Christmas. So this salted caramel eggnog. I just, mm -mm. Gooey caramel, fresh sea salt, dolce de leche, sweet whipped cream. I guess, I, I just, I don't really care for this one. Honestly, you guys, like, it's not horrible, but it's not eggnog. And it's, I feel like it's more of the caramel and like, I mean, I'll do caramel, but sometimes I'm just not in the mood for it. So I'm gonna put this one in the backup pile. Like it's one of those nice luminary um, scents, but like, I feel like I'd rather put it in the backup pile and just use it and not care than to just keep it on the wall in the collection shelf. Sorry. Um, here's another The Perfect Christmas. Yo. Okay, real, real quick. Is anyone else upset that they didn't use um, the perfect Christmas? Like, of course, not this packaging because this this isn't the cutest one that they've ever done. But like, what is it about Bright Christmas Morning that it keeps like that it was chosen as the ornament? I'm just upset. I just feel like any other candle would be better. Like Bright Christmas Morning and Mama is like fruit. It's just fruit punch. Like. A friend of mine was like, it's like, it just smells like high C. And I'm like, exactly. Like it just, it leaves much to be desired. And I can understand why some people enjoy it as a body care item. Cause it would be fun. Like if for you Christmas, like you think of fruit cakes and, uh, you know, a bunch of different like fruit desserts and da, 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 da. that makes sense. But for it to be an ornament on a tree, if it's not cinnamon and it's not woodsy based, then I'm like, what are we doing? And by woodsy, I mean like Christmas tree, balsam, like all that kind of stuff. Like, what are we doing? I don't know, that's just my two cents, but I'm just curious if anyone else, like, is there anyone who's excited about it being bright Christmas morning? Like, please tell me your thoughts and tell me why. Cause inquiring minds would like to know. Um, next up is hot cocoa cream. I really enjoy this packaging. Like it's just, it's so cute. With the little skates and stuff. Mm, it smells so nice, chocolatey. It smells like hot chocolate, but it is not an exact, uh, it is not the same as Feliz Navidad. I feel like poor Feliz Navidad is out here fighting for its life. Everybody is like, Mm, it's just this, mm, it's just that. It's like, no, it's its own little thing. Like, let her be great. Um, next up is, what is this? Oh, fresh winter air. I couldn't even read the label, y'all. I was like, now I know there's this candle sit on here. But it was hidden with the, um, see, it's like the hidden green thing up there. Like, that's wrong. But this one just smells like Christmas trees. Like airy Christmas tree vibes. Um, let's see, zesty, oh, zesty citrus, fresh peppermint, and cold evergreen. That evergreen is cold, baby. Um, I would have put this one in the collection shelf. And we have a vanilla balsam, baby. Um, oh, I need another thing. Um, vanilla balsam is like a fresh balsam, like a very like tree scent, but then it has the vanilla that pulls it back a little bit, makes it a little sweeter. So it's not so overpowering and like so much Christmas tree vibes. Um, let's see. And berry spritzer. We haven't seen this one in a while. 
This one makes me, the first candle that came to mind was um, Champagne Margarita, but it doesn't smell like Champagne Margarita. It's just the vibe of having like a fruit or something else and it being like a cocktail or a sparkling type of drink. But you can definitely, like it's definitely berry forward. You get like a little dash of alcohol in this. <laughs> so this is frozen juniper berries, fresh cranberries, cool peppermint, and white cedar. I can imagine the peppermint, but that's as far as I'm willing to go. Um, but we're gonna put this one in the collection shelf. I just see, isn't it cute how um it has a rose gold top and like it has all these little gold flecks. Oh, let's see here. What do we have? Another autumn woods. How many autumn woods does it take? All of them. Oh, this one's so nice. It's like a nice, like, I don't know, like a nice, like, wintry, or wait, not wintry. Why is everybody running? A nice, like, fall vibe. A little reminiscent of a little bit of apples or something, like a little orchard. Um, nope, <laughs> it's dark walnut, English lavender, and white amber. Maybe it's the amber that I'm mistaking for the apple. It could be, very well could be. But it smells good nonetheless. <sighs> but I was off with that one. Ay, 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 ay. But it smells good. It smells so good that I have <laughs> two, let's see, three, four, Five. And here's six. Okay, so six of those. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go right here. I'll switch them out. Da -da. Put this here. And I'm gonna set this down. Oh, yeah. Woo, okay. We're hustling. We're getting through this. All right. Ooh. Next up. Oh, I'm excited for these. Okay. Crisp Linen Breeze. Mm. This one's nice. It just, it's nice and fresh. It's a vibe. And if you hear some growling in the background, it's the Three Stooges they're playing upstairs. I hear them right now. Oh, the other It just smells like a, hmm, like a nice beach day, but with a dash of baby powder. And like, for some reason, I want to think of like a white tea, but I don't know why that comes to mind. Um, so this is Cotton Blossoms, Dewy Peony Petals, and a Sweet Vanilla Musk. Um, this one came out as a test collection item, and I picked it up from the Smithfield Outlets. And so we have one, two, Three, four, five, and oh, wow, so we have six actually. So I'm gonna put them all back in this in this great oh not you, sorry. Sorry, that's a, okay. They all they always blink and yelling like there's some big dogs out here. And all three of them together don't even weigh 25 pounds. Tugs, cut it out. And he's always the one who starts it. Tugs. Tugs, Sterling, Lenny. It's, it, it's hard out here, y'all. It's hard. Sterling, Tugs, Winnie. And they, I know they hear me, and they know that they hear me. They gonna make me cut up out here. Um, here is Driftwood Waves. I really like this one. It's a very nice, like, I would say it's an adult. Here they come. It's an adult baby powder smell. And he gonna hide behind the chair. <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm gonna put this one in the backup pile because I'm gonna this one before. There's a fresh mint and tea tree. Fairy aromatherapy kind of vibe. 
definitely a lot of mint. <laughs> this one is the Bright Spearmint Tea Tree and Rosemary. So we're going to put this one in the collection shelf and I'm going to neatly move this one because you saw it has that, this one crate that's holding up for dear life. All right. Okay, next up. <laughs> like nothing ever happened. Next up, we have <laughs> Fresh Lemon Waves again. Mm, a beautiful, like, lemony scented vibe, but it's not all lemon. It's got a little some something extra in there. It's like the luxury lemon. Um, it's summer citrus, orange vanilla blossoms, and surfside breeze. We've talked about this one before. If this one comes out again, like, highly, highly recommend. Highly recommend. It's beautiful. Um, mahogany coconut. You know, I mean, we've seen this one before. It's pretty good. Nice tried and true. Um, great for the spring. Great for the summer. Ah, uh, passion fruit banana flower. We talked about this one in the last video. I mean, it's just different. It looks tropical, but it doesn't smell as tropical as it looks. So, of course, that makes me love it even more. Um, this one, let's see, passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. Easy, simple, and sweet. Unlike Sterling's little, um, uh, cough back here. Ma'am, are you a rat? Now here comes Winnie. She's the investigator. Um, here's Deep Blue Sea. Now this one's strong. The driftwood is strong for this one <laughs> of like, ooh. So this one is blue citrus waves, crisp island woods, and fresh cypress. I don't know. I just really get a lot of driftwood from this one. I'm going to put it in the backup pile because I feel like I'm going to keep one for the collection shelf. But if I could just burn and get the rest of them out of here, like, I'd be a happy camper. It's not horrible. It's just not my favorite. Um, but I got most of them 75% off. So, like... <laughs> but one that is one of my favorites is Pink Petal Tea Cake. We've talked about this one many, many times. So, you know, I have many more to add. So here's two so far, a three and a four. Um, absolutely beautiful scent. Beautiful. Um, let's see. Pineapple Mango and Fresh Balsam. We've talked about this one. And it still smells so good. I'm like, can they do all the rest of the mangoes like this? Because this one doesn't smell musty and dusty like the mother wants to. Like, however they made this one, they need to make all the other ones. But again, this is one was a beautiful scent. Definitely caught people off guard. It's just something about the mixture of the fresh balsam and then the fruitiness of the pineapple mango that just chef's kiss. And we have another one. Da -da -da -da. Oh, wow. Sterling's just like laid out on the floor. She's a mess. You're a mess, girl. Who? Yes, you. I'm going to snip these over. Okay. Next up, we have Fresh Sheets. We talked about this one in the last video. Like, this one's just nice, clean, airy. Like, it just smells like a beautiful basket of, like, fresh laundry that was, like, air-dried out on the clothesline, and you just brought it in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. see. Ooh, leather and brandy. Oh, leather and brandy. I feel bad, because when it first came out, I didn't really appreciate it as much as I should have. And over time, I was like, oh, if I see another one, I need it. But it's just this beautiful leather, like, oh, it just makes me think of, like, this motorcycle jacket that just, you know, the motorcycle jacket, like it's seen some things, it saved a couple of lives. It might have a bullet hole in there or something. And like, it just has this collection of the cologne of all the, what's a, a good word for me? What's a good adjective to use? Cause right now there's two words, <laughs> two words, <laughs> both of them have three letters. The first one starts with a B, it ends with a D, and the second one starts with a A, it ends with an S. And I don't know. I want to say suave, but like that's not that's not the word that I want. 
I don't know, but it just it just smells like some boss type people been wearing that motorcycle jacket. So that jacket is just it's doing the darn thing. <laughs> but I'm gonna put this one in the backup pile because we've already seen this one. I'm just reminiscing. Um, here's yuzu and white pineapple. I mean, I'm not reminiscing because I, I don't. Yeah, though, but like I don't know. I was just feeling the vibe of the candle. Although it would be cool if I was like this motorcycle chick or something that like wore the, you know, the leather jacket and I was like, yeah, but no, I'm not cool enough, but it's okay. I'll just pretend. <laughs> um, so this one, I don't know. A lot of people liked it. I don't have anything against it, but it just, I don't know. It didn't give me the life that I hoped for. I smell a lot of pineapple, but that's about it. And this is supposed to have... Let me stop being shady. This has <laughs> yuzu citrus, tropical pineapple, and fresh star fruit. I'm gonna put this one in the um, collection shelf. And let's see here. Here is the perfect Christmas, and I should have some lids to throw on there. Yes, yeah. Okay, here he is. Ah. Bam, Santa. Right, hold on, let me spin it around. I don't know. I feel like it's gonna bother me knowing that I didn't put it on right, like to light up with this. But there's Santa. This one was so cute with a little lid. I mean, like even if this could have been the ornament and it would have been cute. But I digress. Collection shelf. Is this another one? Another one. Okay, I'm gonna put this one in the back. Wow, I'm a crazy dog. Sterling, Tex, what are you doing? What are you guys doing? We got Paulo Santo on stage. What are you doing? <sighs> this one smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. It's like sometimes you just smell stuff and it like it refreshes and restarts your vibe. And like that's what this one does. Um, it's is woodsy but there's like a sweetness and then but the sage gives you like a earthiness vibe um it has clary sage palo santo and amber woods um we're gonna put this one in the backup pile because as you know i have many of that one um but i love it um next up we have cinnamon spice vanilla and barisco free I'm sorry, I'm sure some people are tired to be talking about Paris Cafe, but like, oh my gosh, I love it. And this is like the perfect balance, adding some cinnamon to it, like, oh, they need to bring this one back out again, because I feel like towards the end, like back up shelf, I mean back up pile, of course, but like towards the, Oh, sorry, it's a stack of six, or it's a crate of six. Oh, I was like, wait a minute now. Um, but yeah, I feel like people slept on it at first, and then like, as more people started getting into it, then it just started disappearing from shelves, and people were like, hey man, like I didn't even have a chance. Um, but it was already gone by then, because it was a um, semi-annual sale, limited edition candle, so. I personally feel like if they brought it back like it would be a hit but would it just be a hit because I would probably be the person out there buying like racks on racks on racks stacks on stacks on stacks of it probably <laughs> but that is neither here no there um <laughs> let's see all right four more crates here and we have three more on the flow let's go this is all oh, frozen lake Beautiful scent. Um, we've talked about this one before. Backup pile of tins. Oh, well here. No, you should like, look at this. And just imagine how beautiful it looks when you light it. Adorns. And, oh, excuse me. Um, when you light candle or when you warm candles with the candle lamp, like you'll still be able, it's not going to be like bright and um, you know, the shining light and reflecting onto the walls, like if you would light this, um, like the wicks, but like you still kind of get that vibe because the candle wax is warmed and the illumination 
of the wax kind of like spreads through the glass, if that makes any sense. And now I feel like that I've said that it doesn't make any sense. So I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't say it. We're just gonna move on. Um, here's Smug Vanilla. <laughs> we talked about this one before. Man, I feel like today is like throwbacks of all the candles that we talked. Like, have we seen anything new other than um the gumdrop one? I don't know, maybe. I mean, this is delicious. Oh, it's so good. So good. I'm gonna put it back up pile because we've already talked about that one. Man, we're hustling tonight. Well, not tonight, but like we're hustling. Man, we're hustling through these. Okay, cinnamon caramel swirl. I don't know why, but it like took me a minute to read that. This one's very sweet. Maybe I just have beef with caramel. I, but I don't know what caramel did to me, but it, it just smells like cinnamon sticks um, that are just too sweet. This is gooey caramel, grated cinnamon, vanilla bean, and maple brown sugar. I'm just in the backup pile. I mean, the packaging is like kind of cute, but I'm not in love. Next up, we have Palo Santo. Love this. I'm like, yeah, I need to smell the Palo Santo to balance out that sweetness because that was just too much. Oh, such a beautiful wood. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. Oh, this one is Ice Raspberry Bellini. This one came out with the um, the Hope candle, the um, peach marshmallow. Ow, the peach marshmallow one. And this one's nice. It's like a berry, I don't know, it kind of smells like a berry mimosa vibe. Sterling, what are you doing? This is Chilled Prosecco, Sparkling Raspberry, and Citrus Twist. So pretty nice. It's not like right up my alley, but it's a nice candle that I can appreciate. But speaking of Prosecco, I was able to get my hands on Issa Rae's um, Vera, Vera Ray, or is it Vira Vera Ray? But her new um, Prosecco from Target. So it was pretty good, y'all. I don't know, maybe I'll have to do a review on it if you're interested, but... Uh, you know, I, I purchased more than one bottle. I'm just say that. I'm just say that. But it's pretty good. You should check it out. Oh, I think it's Via Ray. V I A R A E. I know it ends R A E. Um, but it is at Target. I believe it's $19.99. And there was like a little coupon thing where if you buy four, you get 10% off. So that's all the info that I got on that. Um, next up is another Ice Winter Balsam. I love this one. I'm going to put this. Well, no, I'm going to put this one in the collection shelf because I really like the packaging. It's cute. But yeah, it's like a nice, icy, balsam, a little bit more eucalyptus than usual. I'm here for it. I love the minties. Oh, okay. Here's a, another crate of six. Wow, we have a lot of crates of six today. Um, But this is Ice Lemon Pound Cake. Oh. I saw my pound cake is so good, like amazing. They did an amazing job with the candle. Those are all backup pals because we already talked about that one before. Um, they, sorry, I just saw that the next one is another set um, as a whole crate also. Um, they did a really good job with the ice lemon pound cake. It was, ama it was amazing. I was like, I know there are not two crates of the same thing, but it's not, it's not. So this is, can you guess which one this is? Uh, it is Birchwood Trail. Oh, absolutely, I'm sorry. I just need to smell it real, real quick. It smells so good. It's just like sweet woodiness, like just uh, sweet outside woodiness. Um, I absolutely love that candle, like, You've guys seen me uh, drooling over it in previous videos, so I'm not even going to put you through it again. Uh, but come on, come out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, see, I told you. 
So there's only five in this one. Technically, it's not a whole thing of six. It was just 11, but it's cool. <laughs> and this is uh, vanilla and oak wood. And we've seen this one before. Like, it's just a nice, like, it's more vanilla than it is with the oak wood, but it was one of the tester candles um, that came out. I picked up at the Sunsteel outlet. It's all right, we've talked about it before. It's nothing in the right home about. It's no birch wood trim, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> so that was fast, okay. So, three crates left. Tuck, Swinny, Sterling. Honey, they are cutting up today. Well, hello, bandits. What are you guys doing? Are you being good little babies? I don't think so. Oh, is this? It, I think it is. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have another crate of six. I cannot wait to see, like, how long this video is because these crates of six are just, like, blowing past all the time. Um, so here's Frozen Lake. Um, Y'all know it's the husband's favorite set. It's beautiful. Um, it's all the same little packaging. We picked up a bunch of these at the Smithfield outlet and they were, either they were $8 or 75% off. Um, and I am like one of those people that they say it's mostly grandmas and dads who do it. But like, if someone tells me that they like something, then I like log it and then like anything that is like that or connected to I'm like oh so if you like frozen lake then like every time I go I should get a frozen lake candle I'm like if it's a different packaging then you probably want it because you said you love frozen lake so like everything is gonna revolve around that so that's why we have so many frozen lake candles I did it with his socks too he loves these under armor um socks I have been searching because I didn't want to purchase them at regular price. And so I kept like looking in TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, Ross, and like I could not find these socks to save my life. And they were like, I guess it's high crew cut, but they're the black socks. They always have the white ones, but they never have the black ones. And then I found this pair that's like not ankle socks, but they're like have maybe two or three inches above that. So far, so good. So like hopefully. I'll find some more and then he'll be like, oh my God, I have so many, so many of these Under Armour socks. I can't close the drawer. And I'll be like, well, you said that you loved it. So that's how it works. Is anybody else like that? Like that's, I don't know. That's just me probably. <laughs> but um, Fresh Lemon Waves again. We just talked about that one. Um, oh, Black Cherry Seltzer. Love this one. Ooh, oh Lord. What was that? Oh. Is this one been warmed? Oh yeah, okay, so this one's been warmed. Um, you can tell by the little dip. <laughs> dip, baby, dip, come on now. Um, <laughs> there's a little dip in the middle. And that was, cause I was like, what is happening? All this dust, but it's um, candle wax. I guess cause I probably, I was probably being impatient and I put the lid on when the candle wasn't fully done and moved it. Oh, well, it wasn't fully cooled when I took it off the warmer. It was me. <laughs> um, here's a surf shop. This one's nice. It smells aquatic. Uh, it says, out, what? Oceanside birch, sparkling waves, and summer spruce. I guess so. Um, the packaging is okay. I'm gonna be nice. I'll put it on the collection show. Fine. Oh, fresh Amalfi lemon. So this one smells like a lemon head to me. It, it literally just smells like the lemon head um, candy. This is lemon leaves, chilled spearmint, and cedar wood citrus. So I really like the packaging on this one. But I love the inside of this one. Like if they had, well, but then I feel like this, the fresh lemon waves, like the vibe wouldn't go with this packaging. But I like this packaging a little, well, I, mean, I like this one too. I only like this one because of the packaging and it reminds me of a lemon head, but like it's a, a, it's a collection of shelfer. Meanwhile, fresh lemon waves is like, give me crates of it because I love it. 
Um, oh, here's the happily ever after. I purchased this one off of um, Macari. So we had it. Um, oh, so we had it. Uh, sorry, I was like, back to memory. Um, <laughs> because I purchased the. Is it out? Where did I put that thing? Um, it is the. Oh, here it is. This little candle holder. Excuse me, guys. Um, I purchased this candle holder and it came with this candle and I was like, oh, it's so perfect. Now that time I was a little bride, so I was like, oh, these would be so cute together for the bridal vibe. Oh, adorbs, adorbs. Um, this one kind of smells like, it's like powdery and a little floral at the same time. Um, it is watery white petals refreshing bergamot and cedarwood it smells pretty good if you ask me um i sorry i'm gonna be annoying and i'm gonna go put this back where i found it because it'll be just my luck that i sit it down here and then somebody decides to jump on the shelf so we're not gonna let that happen today <laughs> this one is precious the precious okay Next up, oh, Ebony Sands. This one's a good one. We've talked about this one before. It's a nice, like, cologne esque vibe, but not too much. It's a vibe. And this is Ebony Wood Tobacco Petals and Warm Tonka. I like the woodsiness in this. The Tonka doesn't slap me in the face, so it's not too much sweetness. But like, if I had to choose between this Ebony Sands and the um, Tobacco Petals from Aldi, I would probably choose the Tobacco Petals one just because it gives me a little bit more tobacco. Whereas the woodsy, the Ebony Wood, like the woodsiness in this, it overshadows the, um, well, it's probably more so the Bergamot. Oh no, not the Bergamot, the Ebony Wood. Yeah, the Ebony Wood, like, it overshadows the tobacco just a little bit too much to my liking. Um, wow, this is the last crate for this video? Okay. Um, so here is beautiful little flannel. Ah, it's so cute. Ah, it smells so nice. <laughs> oh man, oh, flannel is a tried and true, comes out every year. It is fresh bergamot. Heirloom, or her, heirloom, <laughs> mahogany, and soft musk. And we've seen this one before. It's so loud how like this one, it doesn't have a label. Um, but we're gonna put it in the backup pile. And I'm gonna put these over here. All right, and let's see, what else do we have? This is um, another flannel for the backup pile. And another flannel for the backup pile. All right, please don't be another flannel for the backup pile. No, nope, it is spice pumpkin patchouli for the backup pile. Ooh, this one's so good. Um, backup pile, beautiful scent, absolutely beautiful. Please bring it out again next year. Um, oh, here's the perfect summer, y'all. Rumor has it allegedly. For candle day, they're coming out with the perfect spring, the perfect summer, perfect fall, and perfect winter. Oh, I, I really enjoy this. I know, haters want to say that it's suntan. Okay. But it smells good to me. Um, so this is sunken citrus, orange blossoms, and coconut husk. I, I adore this one. It just, it makes me think of being outside, um, suntan, lo well, not suntan lotion, sunscreen lotion. But is sunscreen really lotion? Not really, but you rub it on like lotion. I don't know, it smells like sunscreen. And like being by the pool, it's like, it's like you just imagine that you're there, like getting ready to get in the water at like some little pool. And you know, already sprayed on your like fancy perfume or cologne, and then you got to put on the dreaded sunscreen because you know you're getting ready to burn out there in the sun if you don't put anything on. But you're like, oh, I'm gonna get in the water, I'll be fine. 
And then hours later, you go to take a shower and it's, it feels like your skin is on fire. And then you realize like, no fool, you got sunburn. You need sunscreen. It doesn't matter what your skin looks like. You need sunscreen. Yeah, that was me in Mexico. That was me. Not once, but twice. You know, maybe next time I'll learn my lessons. You know, maybe. The last time I had on sunscreen, y'all, I was putting it on religiously every two hours, but it, did, it didn't matter that time. It did not matter. I don't know. The sun is sunning. All I know is people can say the global warming and climate change isn't real, but what I know to be real is that sun is stronger than it was 20 something years ago, okay? Mm -hmm. Who cannot drive to the store without putting sunglasses on is me. And then I'm in the car and I'm like, why does my arm feel hot? Oh, only because the sun is like burling through the window and heating up my little arm. And it's November. Where do they do that at? I guess South Carolina, but I digress. Last but not least, leather and brandy again. <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. Just the beauty of the leather in here. And like they captured it and it's not that like bitter slap you in the face, super sharp leather either. It, the brandy just does something to it and it just amazing mix. Amazing mix for cold weather. Guys, do you mind? Hello. Thank you. Come here. You want to say bye? Oh my gosh. Jump, Winnie, jump. You gotta jump harder than that, baby. You gotta jump harder than that. <laughs> well, y'all, thanks for hanging out with us on this wild <laughs> Candle Chronicles episode 31. It is wild how, I feel like we went through these so fast, but I think a lot of them were just ones that we've seen before. Um, we probably have, yeah, I think we have two more episodes before we are finally through all of our three wick um well our old three wick candles because spoiler alert there was a delivery well dad was gone Shh, don't tell don't tell um so anyhow if you have enjoyed this wild um candle chronicle episode please take a hot second to subscribe because we are on the road to a thousand subscribers by christmas and we will be doing a special video for Thanksgiving. Yeah, are we? We're doing a special video for Thanksgiving? Yeah? So make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out. If you enjoy things, please give us a like so that other people will see our video and Winnie will stop growling at me. And with that, as Tux and Sterling try to lean all of their body weight on my wrist right now, we are going to say ciao and we will catch y'all later. Bye.